The hashtag actually autistic is inherently invalidating a self-diagnosis. Ah, uh, no, because self-diagnosed people are actually autistic. A lot of you keep saying that it is inherently invalidating to self-diagnose people because you don't understand the history of the term actually autistic. The actually autistic movement started in the early 2010s as a part of the autistic rights movement, primarily on social media. It was started by autistic self-advocates as a means of taking back the conversation about autism. Before the actually autistic movement, much of the conversation about autism was told through the lens of parents and caregivers of autistic people. And while yes, parents and caregivers of autistic people are a part of the autism community, their voices should not be the ones centered in the autism movement. It should be autistic people. The Actually Autistic movement was not just about promoting actually autistic voices, but it was about changing the narrative from autism being a disease or a disorder that is a burden on people's families and lives. I am autism. I work faster than pediatric AIDS, cancer, and diabetes combined but instead showing that autistic people are real. We are human, with many actually autistic advocates such as myself now leading the charge when it comes to autism education and normalization. But again, I can't iterate this enough. It, it's not excluding self-diagnosis. If you are self-diagnosed autistic, you are also actually autistic. 